Now, nickel is used in a huge range of products such as stainless steel, mobile phones and electric car batteries. As the world shifts to greener vehicles, it's expected there will be a huge increase in demand for the metal. But conservationists have warned that mining in the world's largest nickel producer, and that is Indonesia, could have a devastating impact on the environment. Well, BBC Indonesia's Valja Balaputri reports now from southeast Sulawesi. Labengi Island, a piece of paradise. The water is clear and the sand is white. It's a sanctuary for the indigenous Bajau people, known as the world's best free divers. But as thick pollution spreads into the water on the other side of the sea, all of this is now under threat. Lukman, an indigenous Bajau fisherman, used to be able to fish in front of his home. Yes, just right over there. But how can we do that with water like that? The water around his village is now harming marine life. This is not a lot of fish. In the past, we could get a lot of this sea cucumbers. One big bowl of this, but now it's just this. And here's what's driving the pollution, open pit nickel mines. Local says when it rains, sediment is washed into the sea, burying coral reefs that sustain fish and other marine life. This footage was taken by a local conservationist alarmed by the damage. I feel bad for the ecosystem, for the fishermen. What you are destroying is their future. Who wants to take responsibility for the miles and the miles of coral reef destruction? The clean energy revolution could destroy local communities all over the country. Indonesia is home to vast reserves of nickel and has become a magnet for electric car makers seeking the mineral for its rechargeable batteries. 90% of the world's refined nickel projects that are being planned are in Indonesia. Back in Boyanaga, villager says nickel doesn't just pollute the sea. They blame a mining company for a landslide that hit this school last year. This is the condition of the school now. As you can see, the nickel mining locations are literally in people's backyard. Resident told me that they worry when the rainy season comes, they will face with the same danger of mudslides and flooding. Individual nickel mining companies near Boenaga did not respond to our request for comment. But the Indonesian Nickel Miners Association says its member must agree to reforest the land when they have finished mining it. The Indonesian government says they are aware of the problem, but blames illegal nickel mining. When it rains, no matter what, the soil will be eroded by water. But legal nickel companies have been advised to have a water treatment system before releasing it into the sea. But for areas outside the legal mines without a good water management system, the soil will be just eroded. Global demand for nickel is surging, but local indigenous tribes like the Bajau fear there's a dirty cost to clean energy. Valdia Baraputri, BBC News, Southeast Sulawesi.